Hey guys, thank you for joining us tonight. I'm glad everybody showed up. Uh, this is your Daily Top 7 at 7. I am your host, Virtual Kane, and today is January the 29th, 2017. It is, of course, your evening edition. Uh, don't get used to it. I think I'm going to start doing the show only in the mornings. But let us discuss what we can discuss. Global backlash grows against Trump's immigration order. A global backlash against U.S. President Donald Trump's immigration curb uh, gathered strength on Sunday as several countries, including long-standing American allies, criticized the measures as discriminatory and divisive. I believe this is something that we actually discussed this morning. I think they put a new picture on it and rebranded it as New News. Hmm. All right. Trump says U.S. will resume issuing visas to all countries over the next 90 days. President Donald Trump, trying to quell a backlash over his extreme vetting order, said the U.S. Uh, would resume issuing visas to all countries once secure policies are put in place over the next 90 days. Well, that's actually not too bad. Three months. Uh, I believe when Obama took office, he said he was putting a six-month ban on Muslim entry into the nation. Um, and that was like six months, so just 90 days. I think that's, um, that's something to live up to. <laughs> we'll see what happens, guys. Uh, Saudi King agrees in call with Trump to support Syria, Yemen safe zones. Saudi Arabia's King Salman, in a phone call to, uh, <laughs> in a phone call on Sunday with U.S. President Donald Trump, agreed to support safe zones in Syria and Yemen. A White House statement said, "Commando dies in U.S. raid in Re Yemen. First military op okayed by Trump." I uh, believe we discussed that this morning. They were uh, after intelligence, so. I hope that they got what they needed. A U.S. commando died and three others were wounded, carrying out a deadly dawn raid on the Al-Qaeda militant group uh, in southern Yemen on Sunday in the first military operation authorized by President Donald Trump. France's Macron gets boost from left as scandal hit fill in falters. Okay, I will... I will concede a little bit. I guess the scandal is now news in that it is actually affecting uh, <laughs> the climate of things. French centrist presidential candidate Emmanuel Macron's election campaign took a step forward on Sunday as the Socialist Party chose a champion with a hard left agenda and the center right battled to contain a scandal over fake pay. I don't even know what all of their deal is going on right now. We haven't been doing the news long enough, but I have a feeling that uh, in a couple months, I'm going to have something really witty to say about that. But for now, Yemen says Trump's ban on Muslims supports extremists. Yemen believes that U.S. President Donald Trump's temporary ban on certain Muslims traveling to the United States supports extremists, a news agency run by the Saudi allied government reported on Sunday. Canada offered temporary residency to travelers stranded by the U.S. Canada will offer temporary residency to any traveler stranded by U.S. President Donald Trump's order uh, orders temporarily barring people from seven Muslim-majority countries, a senior official said on Sunday. Jordan's Abdullah to press Trump administration to step up war on Islamic militants, or Islamist militants. Jordan's King Abdullah will hold talks with U.S. President Donald Trump, Trump's administration in Washington on Monday, on how to bolster the kingdom's domestic security amid the growing risk of Islamic State militant attacks, officials and diplomats said. Britain says U.S. immigration curbs do not apply to U.K. travelers. Britain's Foreign Office said that U.S. President Donald Trump's travel restrictions 
only applied to individuals traveling from the seven named countries. So people arriving from other countries, including the United Kingdom, would not be subject to more checks regardless of nationality or place of birth. You know, I think that is a very good stipulation for the public to know about, and I endorse this article fully. UN experts warn Saudi-led coalition allies over war crimes in Yemen. A Saudi Arabia-led military coalition has carried out attacks in Yemen that may amount to war crimes. UN sanctions monitors reported to the world's body security council warning coalition allies, including the United States, Britain, and France, that they are obligated to respect international law. Again, I think this is another one where they replaced the picture from this morning and it's, again, you know, more news. So anyhow, I feel like uh, as much as it would benefit us to get the morning and evening news, mm, I think we're just going to get the morning news for a little while. Let me know what you think. I will gladly do both if that is what you guys want to see. Uh, we are working on tightening everything up, making things a little bit better for everybody. And if you like the show, definitely uh, give us a like and subscribe, but also comment. Let us know how we can improve this show. I know that we can, and I know that um, people out there want the news, but they just don't want to have to go looking for it. Uh, breaking news. What is this? Breaking news. Five dead in Quebec City mosque shooting. All right, well, you heard it first, maybe. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. I will see you guys tomorrow.